Welcome back to Superhuman. Today's episode is part two of a two-part series with Mr. Erwin Youssef. Last episode, he gave me life, career, and all sorts of advice that I needed. And this episode is love advice. So it was getting juicy at the end of last episode. So let's continue where we left off. We were talking about, I just guessed it on Isabel Daza's podcast, which is about sex. Would you ever guest on her podcast? I don't know. Like, I know Belle really well, and I know she loves to bully me. So her one goal ah, she would. That makes for sense. that podcast would be to just make me sweat. Okay. And, yeah, no, I don't I don't think so. So, Belle, I'm sorry, but I think it would just make me way too Has she asked you? She has asked me, yeah. She asked Nico, Selen, Anna, and, and I. All her friends say no, huh? Yeah, because we know how Belle is, right? She likes to kind of get under your skin, so we were kind of scared for that you know what though i really like Belle. i used to think she was intimidating and i don't know i don't know she i was just thought she was kind of weird but not in a bad way just this very straight up intense put you on the spot type she's, of personality she's, a, she's she has a very curious personality yeah so she can bombard you with like a hundred questions in a span of a couple of minutes but after talking with her for such a long time. And then there's always the post podcast where we do the offline podcast, which is private. Yeah, AKA yeah. we just have a conversation that's not recorded. Correct. And yeah, I like she, she's actually Did a you really- learn a lot? Yeah, she's a really deep person. She is, yeah. But uh, I like her a lot. And you know, in, in this group, you know, I love you, Erwin, Selene. I, I love Anne, even though I, you know, we're not as close as you guys. We have potential, Clearly. you know. We, we, can, we can get to that point. We just <laughs> need a little more time together. But yeah, Isabel's like on that point now. Like I, I really like her. Yeah, I mean, I think I like, like what we were talking about in the previous podcast, it, it really comes down to, to be able to talk to people with who after each conversation, you do feel like you're also getting something out of it, right? A conversation should always be two we ways. We were trading value. Yeah, and you trade yeah. value and, and you can disagree on certain things. But as long as everyone leaves having learned something, I think that's the most important. 100%. So what is your relationship advice for me now that I'm single, I'm 30 years old? How are you, 30? Yeah. <laughs> it's I, get, still, I still feel you, young. No, no, you, you, young, no, 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 no. One, yes, you are still super young. Me, Trust I me. I was just with Seb yeah. and he's turning 40. Yeah. So now he was like, okay, and now I have to propose because I'm getting turning married. 40. Correct. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I think it's it's... Me, I, own, I I had a, not a goal, but I had a rule in my head where I said I wouldn't get married before 30, okay. whatever that meant. So yeah. it meant that 30 was my minimum age. Anna and I had been together since kind of like our mid twenties, early, early to mid twenties for me. Um, and so that's why when I reached 30, I was like, okay, I'm comfortable now because that was kind of like the rule I had in my head. Um, but for you, I mean, you're still single. So if you're 30, I would say do what you're doing now in terms of not attaching yourself anywhere and having that freedom to move around. Um, and you're at a point in your life where you are successful, so you can kind of be successful by yourself, which is also something that's really special um, because you can then really kind of take advantage of the hard work you've put in, of the money, and, and go on vacations that you might necessarily not be able to do with a wife and a kid eventually or do crazy things that you might not feel comfortable doing ever again. Um, so I think, yeah, I think you shouldn't put any pressure on yourself. Maybe start asking yourself questions in terms of why am I still single when you are late 30s? But if you're the type, I've met a lot of people who don't want kids and who don't want to get married. Fair enough. Like it's not for everyone. As long as you find joy and fulfillment and, and purpose and yeah. what you're doing, I guess Correct. that's the most important thing, right? And I mean, if, if you're someone that's cool when you're 60, 70, still being alone and being happy being alone, then cool, right? Some people freak out at that idea of potentially yeah. dying alone and not having grandkids or kids around you and, and it being really lonely, but it really depends on the personality. I mean, Dude. we don't have to think of that much ahead. Put yourself in my position does it sound terrifying to you to like be single again and like try and date women or do you think it sounds exciting and cool to explore 
take yourself out of your shoes. Obviously. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I, I think, I think. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.